We are activating your unique self-discovery one show at a time. The Orchard of Wisdom Self-Discovery Podcast are at your fingertips, just waiting to inspire and invite you in discovering just how awesome you really are and how to navigate through life in joy, enrichment, personal abundance, in mind, body, spirit, heart and soul. All the people we bring you are here to serve you on your journey of life. Do enjoy our next show. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Sarah's View of Life, right here on selfdiscoverymedia.com. Well, sorrows, so many, and so many to overcome. How do we do it? Taking a step back and looking at all the sorrows of late, I have to admit, it has made me feel rather sorrowful. We have the Queen's death, although not unexpected, a loss of a good woman and an era, Heat waves in California, fires and droughts. We have so many lives, 33 million displaced in Pakistan with flooding. And the question is, can they rebuild on the same land or how do they, they provide for the loss and where should people go? We have the war in Ukraine still going on, the trickle down effect of Russia blocking Europe uh, with the fuel and many who will die this winter because of it fuel prices, food prices, housing prices all going up while wages still stay the same. There is a shortage of doctors in the world. Uh, here where I live, it's impossible to get a doctor. and So many more are getting ill because illnesses are not being discovered in time. My sister just had a life-threatening operation, thankfully a successful one, but two more to go. And she had to sleep in a chair on a gurney for three nights because there were no beds, even though they expected her. And she's 81 years old. My brother, who's just had a heart attack and has to have stents put in his heart, he's got to go back for more. He was seeing a doctor by phone call and by Zoom, never in person, and they never saw the warning signs, never really looked at him. We have just acknowledged the 9-11 anniversary, yet we still feel we're at war, this time within America, as America has become the enemy within. I said it years ago, it won't be another 9-11 that will cause an uprising. In the U.S., it will be their own division, and there will be no more united America. As an empath, I feel the sorrows of the world, and it gets in my very soul and heart and weighs me down. I'm an optimist and believer in possibilities, and if we feed the right energy, and I pray with all our hearts and souls that we wake up to rise up into a higher frequency of caring, kindness, cohesive loving vibrations for that is truly where the love reigns and where we will find our solutions. Haglas, the ruins, the beautiful Celtic ruins, is a destruction and it's very much in play here. But instead of looking at it as it's destroying us, maybe it's redirecting us for we cannot take on a positive lifestyle if we're still feeding the negative one. For as empaths, we need to take care of ourselves at this time. We need to be nurturing to feed our hearts and souls. We need to take that time to do the healing and to support one another. It is imperative at this time that we keep our energies up. And I know it can be very, very hard when you feel yet another thing, another heart sorrow going out. It's very difficult if you are an intuitive or empath because sometimes it doesn't matter what protection you put around you, you do feel it. But what we do with ourselves in this time is important. It's important to eat good nourishing food, to get plenty of rest, to divert our minds and our psyche through doing something else. It could be watching a TV show, reading a book, being immersed in something, doing kind acts for other people, going for a walk in nature, whatever it is, redirect your mind from dwelling on the feeling so the feeling can go. You may need help with medication. I have medication for my depression, which I do not take all the time. But when I feel this overwhelming sorrow come on me, I know that if I don't, I might end up down the rabbit hole and I don't want to be there. So how do we change it? Know that it's temporary. Whatever's going on in the world, and you know, the whole world in some way, felt the loss of Queen Elizabeth. She was a remarkable woman. Whether you liked the royal family or what it stood for, let's look at the woman. 70 years of dedication. She had humor. She had grace. She had style. She had persistence. She had commitment, devotion. And that is a true example to us all. What have we got? 
have we you know you know that era of of that age group they had to have resilience and tenacity they were constantly bombarded with something and they had to face it we've become a little bit soft and we don't know how to face it we don't know how to kind of brush it off and and go okay let's get on with it because if we could do a let's get on with it we won't kind of sink so easily into that anxiety and depression so you know stepping up and doing something for other people um, there's so much need out there I know putting yourself amongst those that are sorrowful might be not good for you depending how strong you are or it might be exactly what you need if you're knowing you're helping them so it's know yourself but don't get stuck in it don't retreat in because that's very easy to do all of these world problems are not going to go away overnight. Nothing is going to change immediately. But what we are going to do is feed the possibilities, feed each other beautiful white light and energy, feed each other the, the kindness and the caring and the support that we need to give one another. Not because we're going to get something in return, because the more we support people and the more they step up into their own good vibrations, the more it serves everyone around them and so on, and so on, and so on. Good, good, good vibrations do resonate and pulsate out. So let us find a way to step into those good vibrations and free ourselves from the sorrow. That doesn't mean we're not acknowledging what's going on in the world, but it means that we're not drowning in it. So if you need the help and the support, reach out to people. There are plenty of people on Facebook or other mediums that instead of feeding the sorrow, know what you mean. You say, I am feeling sorrowful. I am feeding down. I need help to get back up. Not for more sorrow. Help getting back up. The other thing is quite simply, watch happy videos. I know for me that listening to music and watching people rescue animals and people putting illuminating and inspirational stories out there that you can interact with or that you can be a part of in gratitude when we see how much awesomeness out there in that flawsomeness of a of human race but we see what we're capable of doing of giving of sharing of being it is that invitation for us to go well if they can why can't i and if they can why aren't i so while you're feeling sorrowful and the, yes there'll be something else down the road around the corner another disaster it's just what's happening. What are you going to do to feed the positivity, to feed the way of coming out of it and being productive in a solution-based approach that can serve us as a human race and help us overcome the sorrow and take that sorrow into something beautiful? Because, folks, it's not anybody else's uh, job to do. It's all of our jobs to do. So... If you're feeling sorrowful, my heart goes out to you. So does my loving vibration to rise it up into looking at joy and gratitude and possibilities. And if you feel, I don't know what to do, there's so much going on. Start not only with yourself and fortifying yourself, but helping someone to your right or to your left. Maybe somebody needs their dog walking. Maybe somebody needs some shopping picked up. Maybe there's somebody in the street that just needs to be talked to. There's so many things we can do. Don't be overwhelmed by all that's going on. Be invited to be a solution, even if it's only one tiny speck at a time. Because with each one of that drop of caring, kindness and love and consideration and respect and gratitude, we are fortifying, we are building, we are illuminating, we are inviting and we are coming together under a beautiful, cohesive vibrational banner that will lessen the, uh, the distraction and bring forth more the clarity. So we are the answer we seek. So I feel if you're feeling it, but redirect yourself into doing something productive so that sorrow doesn't swallow you up. Until next week, folks, be strong, be resilient, be joyful, and go and do something funny, right? Have a damn good laugh. That's always a good way of snapping yourself out of something. Until next time. 
Bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show. Find all of our shows on selfdiscoverymedia.com under podcasts or selfdiscoverymedia slash shows. And for all our current shows, go to What's New. We are supported by you, the audience. You will see a nice big shiny blue button for one-time donations or follow us on Patreon and you will be able to support us there. We enjoy bringing you such wisdom. And the next show will be up in just a moment.